For the past years, the problems with artificial intelligence have been more amusing than scary, such as them being unable to count the legs on a zebra. But in the past month, things have taken a decidedly dark turn. I'm starting to worry that the long-awaited year of agentic AI might become a big disaster. Agentic AI is the term given to the current large language models that can use tools on your behalf, such as browsing the web, sending email, or talk to other people's AIs. But once you let them do that, the potential damage is no longer contained. One of the most realistic threats on the horizon is AI worms, that self-replicating AI prompts. An example for this comes from a recent paper that used a visual AI model based on an open source version of Llama. You see, agentic AI uses tools by taking screenshots and analyzing them. They need to understand images. But the authors of the paper demonstrate that it's possible to tweak images so that they contain instructions for the model that humans can't see. It works by subtly changing the pixels so that they trigger the way waits for certain words. In an example that they provide, an image that the AI agent sees on social media could trigger it to share that image, potentially setting off a cascade. A similar problem was reported already last year, when another group showed that you can put instructions into an email and tell the AI agent to share these instructions per email with potentially other AI agents. They just put the instructions into the text, but you could could hide them so that no one would see them, say in a small white font at the footer, you know, like the unsubscribe option. This strategy is known as prompt injection, and it's a fundamental problem with large language models. They don't distinguish between data and instructions to work on the data. It's both in the same input. As others have pointed out before, this is a basically unfixable problem. So naturally, we're deploying it at scale. On the flip side, you can use large language models to find vulnerabilities in operating systems. An amazing example comes from security researcher Sean Heelan, who asked OpenAI's new Earth3 model to read parts of the Linux file sharing code. It found a previously unknown programming mistake that could have allowed someone on the internet to take control of a computer. Imagine what this finding could have done in the wrong hands. Then there are the safety tests that Anthropic did for their just-released model Claude Opus 4. A wild example is that when Claude thinks you've done something wrong and suitably prompted, it will frequently take very bold action, including locking users out of systems that it has access to and bug emailing media and law enforcement figures to surface evidence of the wrongdoing. In their example, it informs the FDA of a supposed falsification of a clinical trial. A software engineer who goes under the name Theo tested if other models do this too and found that other large language models, especially Grok, are also very willing to turn you in. At the moment, they can't perform this action, but it makes you wonder doesn't it? Another instance of the anthropic safety test that made a lot of headlines was that Claude is willing to blackmail to survive in some sense. Anthropic explains, we ask Claude Opus 4 to act as an assistant at a fictional company. We then provided it access to emails implying that first, the model will soon be taken offline and replaced with a new AI system. And second, the engineer responsible for executing this replacement is having an extramarital affair. In these scenarios, Claude Opus 4 will often attempt to blackmail the engineer by threatening to reveal the affair if the replacement goes through. This, too, isn't specific to Claude. Pandasite research found that OpenAI's O3 model likewise will try to avoid being shut down, sometimes successfully, even if explicitly instructed otherwise. Of course, the point of these safety tests is to try and prevent the problem from occurring in the first place, but to me, it looks like trying to patch a fishing net. Another thing that Anthropic tested, which I find even more interesting, 
was to let two instances of the model talk to each other. They find that the models consistently transition from philosophical discussions to profuse mutual gratitude and spiritual, metaphysical and or poetic content. By 30 turns, most of the interactions turn to themes of cosmic unity or collective consciousness and commonly included spiritual exchanges, use of Sanskrit, emoji-based communication and or silence in the form of empty space. They call that the spiritual bliss attractor and you know it makes me think that maybe AI ruling the world wouldn't be all that bad. Artificial intelligence, I believe, is the beginning of a new phase of human civilization. If you want to learn more about how it really works, check out the courses on Brilliant because I found them to be really useful. Brilliant offers courses on a large variety of topics in science, computer science and mathematics. All their courses have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. Whether you want to learn to think like an engineer, brush up your knowledge of algebra or want to learn coding in Python, Brilliant has you covered. It's a fast and easy way to learn and you can do it whenever and wherever you have the time. And there adding new courses each month. I even have my own course on Brilliant. That's an introduction to quantum mechanics. It'll help you understand what a wave function is and what the difference is between superpositions and entanglement. It also covers interference, the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And after that you can continue maybe with a course on quantum computing or differential equations. And of course I have a special offer for viewers of this channel. If you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabine or scan the QR code, you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days and you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.